But um, welcome to the Foolish Tech Show. Um, we're here to help our customers with our software and services here. So if you have any questions about D72, about Crypto Prevent, about D Support Suite, about the Uninstaller, about DMZ, about anything we do here, we'll be happy to assist you. You can get in touch with us at uh, foolishit.com slash live or foolishtechshow.com. Uh, I'm joined uh, here with the usual crew, as you can see. Um, Nick's in the nice uh, hat. I wanted, I had to compliment him this morning on the hat. I mean, folks, what do you guys think out there? I mean, the hat is awesome. The hat is. I'm loving really it. Awesome. Um, I especially like the, um, you know, the, you know. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, I, I, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot, uh, uh, a, a lot more lively here once you leave. He's gonna have to leave. He has a, um, a date with his mother, I believe. Um, and that, uh, will, well, that was two hours ago, but she just now decided to show up. <laughs> <laughs> so she, yeah, they were going to have breakfast. Now it's turning into a brunch, uh, lunch, uh, engagement. Um, but if we don't have anything to talk about regarding our, um, software or tickets or, um, anything like that, um, we'll just talk about general stuff, tech stuff, whatever, uh, is in the news, uh, today. And hopefully that'll be fine with everyone out there. If you have a recommended uh, line of Mary. discussion, certainly uh, feel free to bring it up. We value participation here. So if you can join us in our RRC chat, um, again, that information is located on the foolishit.com slash live or Foolish Tech Show uh, web pages. Uh, we'd welcome everyone. And uh, even if you just want to come and rant, uh, <laughs> which is fine as well. Um, let's see. I was awesome. really prepared. <laughs> Thank you. I was not really prepared to, uh, to discuss a whole lot this morning, but, um, a couple things, uh, are coming, um, to mind. I, uh, was reading this uh, story here today and, Let's see. If, if one of you guys can keep an eye on the IRC while I'm going over some of this stuff, uh, uh, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Let's see. Um, actually, and uh, speaking of that, we do have an issue here. We have an issue with a client that have a Windows 7 Pro saying his copy of Windows is not genuine. All of the workstations? Hmm. It's a volume license key, but that doesn't give me a way to do that. Um, yeah, the, there's a um, there's a uh, script I believe that will change the product key from the command line. I think it's a PowerShell or something like that um, to forcibly do it. Uh, or no, I think you can just run a command. Hold on, let me look that up for you. I did this. So I'm going to reference a document here. Uh, and may uh, be helpful. All those OOBE commands are on the um, D72 uh, um, internal menu. Internal tools. React. With okay, so this uh, that's a that's a form. The relevant the relevant lines are are these two here. So. You will put in, um, that's how you change the product key, and then this is how you force, and uh, uh, that's how you force activation. So that might be. Um, also try D7 too. Uh, yeah, D7 can do it. Now, where is that in D7? Um, let's see. I just couldn't remember. It's like the it's in the top menu. It's like internal or something. I, I have a copy here. Windows activation, or if you get to like the Windows activated label on the alert or whatever. Yeah, if the alerts come up, if it's uh, not activated, D7 uh, two can resolve that. Um, let me see if it's on the. Menu. Well, well, it would pop up that little menu with the with all the stuff like the SLMGR commands and other things. Mm -hmm. it, even, like, I, it even says what the commands are on the button. Like Excellent. There. Cool, 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 cool. So there's that. Let's see. Um, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so just keep an eye on the chat there. Let's see. What was I discussing? Um, my apologies. Bit. Um, here we go. So um, 
I thought this was interesting. Um, the CIA apparently um, was holding on to a document and then they accidentally <laughs> destroyed it. I, 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 good government is just, I, I don't trust anyone. Um, but you guys can take a look at that. It's, uh, uh, there, there was this, you know, there was, there was this, this very long document. It was, uh, it's been out a while, but the CIA was holding on to it, and then um, because of a, you know, a computer issue. But the, the weird thing is, I think it's a little bit weird. So they accidentally, um, uh, you know, deleted a file um, that they had uh, also saved on a disk. But they not only deleted the file, but then they accidentally destroyed the disk that had the that had a backup on it as well. It, I, <laughs> Oh, it's just, it's just comical almost. It, it, it really is. Um, then this was, uh, this was the um, same report that's referenced um, um, there uh, on Slashdot uh, about um, the ineffectiveness of um, enhanced uh, interrogation, as it was referred to. Um, okay, but that's not a very happy topic. Um, I don't know why I started uh, Tuesday off with that one. Um, it's not a whole lot. I, 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 tech news. Um, I believe mm. we already talked about yesterday. Um, John, Mack I saw this. Crazy, <laughs> trying to trying to trick reporters into saying he hacked. Um, Colin McAfee thing. Yeah, I heard you talking about that yesterday. Yeah, we did. We did talk about it on the on the show, I believe. So I don't. Mm. Uh, don't need to cover that again. Um, oh, oh. Well, um, I just, I just had one. I, there was a new app on politicians and their money. You tell them to follow them the trail. So I posted politicians and their money. Um, yeah, uh -huh. that's that's interesting. I saw. I, I was also following. Um, um. Oh, here's another one. Let me find this story here. Here's another one. I'm gonna have to look. I'm just gonna throw a few things out there as long as we're just. Don't please, play. please. This is a great. Go. This is a great uh, expose. Oh, oh, go ahead. I'm show, sorry. Just in the show, I don't. Go I don't ahead. Think I've got to go, but um, I did have a few links today. Um, about them. Just briefly mention the antivirus um, products affected by Seven Zip Flaw. Have you talked about that? Last week? No. Um, please. Okay, well, I haven't actually investigated that. D72 uses Seven Zip um, with the AES encryption that it's talking about with. Um, but I I think it's something specific that would be an antivirus. I don't think it's like a like a like an actual attack on the encryption. But I'll have to read into it some more. Hmm. Uh, but like a lot of like I know they updated the article when I uh, this when I skimmed it and said malware device wasn't affected, but that was like the only thing. But apparently a lot of AV vendors use Seven Zip, and if there's a vulnerability with that now, so apparently all of them do actually. Um, uh, and all, it depends on the version of 7-Zip uh, you're using, I believe. Um, um, that's something to look into. Ah, that's, all stuff I look that, that's something to look into. That's interesting. Mm, and, oh, uh, was this on the show, the rules of the road thing, or did that come up in my feed? Our, I was our, our TM tech points out that the Windows 10 upgrades and the schedule implementation is approved when the user either clicks the OK button or the X in the upper right -hand corner of the notification. Yeah, hitting that X has always been a sign that uh, you accept and agree to everything. Um, I, it's just comical uh, what Microsoft is doing with that. Um, and they're getting more aggressive, too. Um, and uh, RTM Tech points to that uh, tiny URL link uh, there about that story. Let me see if I can get that. Um. Um, I also threw a link in there on the, the highway code. I don't know if that was mentioned on a show or not. I actually learned something about the, um, the three-digit highways. I didn't realize that the first digit meant that um, they connect to another interstate. Um, and if it's yeah, even, there's, if it's there's odd a whole... that they don't. Um, I didn't know that, you know, um, but there's like there's a couple a of things, I kind of know everything else in there, but, um, it more. amazes me. I was having this conversation with several people the other day that did not know that about exit numbers and the distance, um, mile markers and such, but, well, there are, but there are like some ex exceptions, uh, to, to, oh, 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 gosh. And here's, here's the best one. Sorry guys. Here, sorry. Y'all just talk about this later. 
Um, action pack subscription, um, 75% off. I should have submitted this like last week, like this time last week or before. So I don't know if it's still work or not, but there's like two coupon codes involved and you were able to use them both, I think, or something. Hmm. If anybody needs an action pack. And um, crap, I'm sorry. Did anybody follow this story? I thought CNN did a really nice uh, job with their investigative reporting. Oh, and that's all I got. I'm going to see y'all later. I'll, I'll check in. No, I won't. We'll look at, yeah, yeah. No, thanks for the action pack uh, thing. Um, and uh, we'll look at all those other uh, links. Thanks so much, John. And you have yourself a great uh, time with your mom. All right. Yeah, man. I'll see y'all. She's leaving soon, so I'll see y'all later. Probably not for the show, but later. Um, yeah, highway number also indicates direction. There's a, there's a lot of information, RTM, uh, uh, in, in that, and it's not, uh, it's generally, um, uh, you know, the, 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 it's not randomly chosen, obviously, uh, those things. Um, the CNN, uh, investigative report here, um, I, I thought was kind of good, um, with getting to the bottom of, of, of some things. It's interesting, these, uh, the, uh, this, um, charity, um, you know, right in, what was it? Um, something like um, $8.5 million raised in donations in 2014. And less than 2% of that ever went to um, veterans um, doled out in very small amounts. Basically $122,000 of $8.5 million actually went uh, to them. And uh, this guy lived an incredibly lavish lifestyle, including um, writing off expenses such as, you know, uh, emergency funds for his brother and um, Rolls Royce and uh, all sorts of other things. Um, and uh, of course, he won't agree to an interview or anything like that. But uh, uh, it's uh, he was rated um, by a zero out of four stars. And the crazy part about all of this is the guy that runs this charity is on the actual VA, is on the Veterans Administration, um, holds a job uh, there. Uh, so this is, uh, this is horrible, and uh, this is the worst case of corruption and, and, and uh, just you know, basically ripping off people um, and uh, not doing any of the work you said you would. It's horrible. Um, anyway, I, I care for our veterans a lot. Uh, my grandfather... Uh, is a veteran and um, World War II veteran, and uh, it, my grandfather. It, yeah, it, it, it's it, the what we're doing these days to our veterans is is shocking, um, and I think the VA really should just go away. No, it doesn't surprise me, RTM tech, but uh, I really think the VA should just go away. Um, it should be basically an extension of Social Security. You should basically just have the uh, uh, the vets be able to go to any 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 place you they want. A veterans to insurance card good at any hospital. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It could be simple. And honestly, you know? there shouldn't be no problems with that. They should be entered, uh, given veterans insurance as soon as they're on, you know as long as they're honorably discharged or whatever yeah exactly get it as soon as they're out of the military i don't care how long they were in yeah i i i mean i you know there's there's details of course but 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 it would be very simple it would be a very simple straightforward system and it seems that uh, all the va is capable, capable of doing is uh is either hurting the people that they're there to serve or um or ripping you know, or basically uh you know doing things like this uh so you know uh, i'm sure everyone has their own opinion about this and certainly this is just my opinion but uh i i believe i've heard so many uh reports about the va uh being bad uh, i'd love to see uh, what it, good they are doing <laughs> actually and uh uh the patient's care uh is uh substandard to every other private practice, including bargain basement doctors. And, and because of things like that, I know a lot of veterans that don't use the VA. Yeah, which is scary. Um, and my grandfather very rarely went to the VA, and so do a lot of other veterans. I yeah, my, my grandfather uh, has not, for instance, all the care he received he, for his heart. Uh, he had a quadruple bypass. I mean, he's over 90 years old. My gr oh, was 93, my grandfather father is right now um but he uh uh you know he's still kicking he's lived through so many uh wives and and and, and girlfriends it's it's kind of getting 
pretty sad at this point, actually. Um, God bless him. Um, but you know, he 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 gets and he provides for himself. I mean, he he did well. He was an engineer and he worked all his life, and you know, and so he retired, uh, uh, you know, fairly reasonably, um, at least for himself and for his family. And uh, uh, you know, he was able to to pay for his own medical care. But you know, and Social Security, of course, helps. But 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 ah, uh, it's a it's a messed up system. Medical care is something veterans should never have to worry about. And 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 futures error points out it, it it's 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 horrible because you know it makes people not want to donate, and not want to help. Um, and it's and you're right. I mean, I, I I can't condone it. I mean, unless you've done your research, unless you've looked into the organization that you're sending money to to see what they actually dole out and 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 how they use it, and what uh, you know how uh, relatively transparent they are. Um, you know, you can't uh, you can't be sure. So, uh, you know, that's a it's a tough, tough, tough thing. But we do not need representatives like this, um, you know, making that any worse than it is. So, all right, uh, let's get off that topic. Um, sad, 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 sad. Um, so Twitter is uh, is going to make certain exceptions. Um, uh, for specifically, I believe, for photos and links in their 140 character limit. Um, not that I, I will never use Twitter. I've never used Twitter, never will use Twitter. Um, so uh, they can do what they want. But to me, why, <laughs> why um, we needed uh, an artificially eliminated, a limited uh, communication system is. I'm very upset with tweeting, and I can't believe it ever caught on. But that's just my opinion. Again, I have lots of them, um, as do I'm sure all of you out there. Um, so, um, a guy claimed to. Uh, oh, Spice for article for Michael. Oh, is this a Jeff Friday the Thirteenth joke? No, no, no. I'll have to read that um, in a little uh, after the show. But uh, thank you for sharing. Oh, wait, this is short. Hold on. Give me a moment, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, interesting, interesting story. Uh, nothing, just a tough little trot the guy had in the morning, but uh, it could have been far worse. It could have been far worse, I think. Um, hmm. Thank you for sharing. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, I like science, you know, guys. Uh, so I have uh, several stories about that. But um, one of the interesting news uh, was that uh, the International Space Station made its 100,000th orbit. Um, I didn't realize that uh, it had gone quite that many times around. And um, it, 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 it certainly, um, the distance that it's traveled, and its speed and other characteristics, the fact that it's grown, it's just uh, just kind of cool. Uh, I, I always enjoy uh, articles like that. Uh, it shows what humanity and engineering and, and you know science is capable of, and when people working together. Um, I think everybody I'm interested in, I know nobody, apparently Brantley and everyone else around here doesn't have any interest in, in video cards so much, but I've always been interested in video cards. So that's, um, NVIDIA's newest card offering. I think this is one of the first reviews, um, uh, out about it. I'm, I'm sorry. What, what did you, I, I couldn't hear you. Um, I, my hearing's not as good these days. What did you say? Um, tank? Oh, I just said you were talking about the space station. I said, talking about how it's what we can do. I'm like, yeah, when people work together. Ah, uh, yeah, when people work together, and that's the one thing. Uh, yeah, great that's point. Largely us and the Russians. 
Yeah, great point. Um, it, well, not so much. Europe is huge in 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 in, in, in that, and um, you know, and India is 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 getting more a uh, bigger and bigger player uh, into that market. Um, there's uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's uh, it's it's definitely great. But in science, like like the Large Hadron Collider, for instance, it's it's a whole bunch of people from a whole bunch of countries working together, okay, for the science. And yeah, there's a whole lot of grant money involved. But what are they doing? They're building with it, okay. I mean, you see the fruits of their labor in the machines and the and the accomplishments and the data that they uh, retrieve. It's amazing the vastness of the of, of, of the data and the amount of science that they've uh, produced there. The same way on the International Space Station, it's 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 an amazing investment. It's a hundred billion dollars. Sure, it's expensive, but it's an amazing investment for what comes out of it. Um, and how it furthers uh, our understanding of uh, the universe and of our of ourselves and of technology and everything else. Um, those things are great. Uh, not a whole lot comes from doing what we normally do, and that's not working together and fighting each other and killing each other. But uh, but when we do, as Tank points out, um, amazing things can happen. Amazing things. Um, and uh, NVIDIA would argue that amazing things are happening for its new graphics card here, the GTX 1080. It's basically the uh, Codename Pascal architecture with GD GDDR5X, which is an upgrade from the regular GDDR5. Um, not really clear. I haven't read this all yet of uh, the, the actual um, differences uh, in, in that regard, um, but it looks like it's basically memory speed, um, so you're getting the equivalent of uh, 10 gigahertz of bandwidth um, or 320 or 10 gigahertz of, of memory speed and 320 gigabytes a second of memory bandwidth over a 256 uh, bit bus, which actually uh, rivals their um, previous bandwidth of 336 uh, on a 308 84-bit uh, bus on the previous uh, Titan X, which was the uh, cream of the crop as far as um, um, uh, their previous generation card was concerned. Uh, I love uh, following graphics cards because they're still they, they see these huge leaps and bounds in performance every generation, and uh, um, I, I you know it's like CPU uh, that's got a little dull these days. You know you just see more cores, you know pretty much, um, but uh, these guys are far more varied, uh, typically in the nuanced uh, aspects of it, the power consumption, the heat production, uh, you know, so many factors, the, the, the size of the boards, um, <clears throat> so many things to take into consideration, but I'm interested in it, and I hope you guys might be too, so take a look. Um, again, I haven't read through all of that yet, but I think it's uh, pretty substantial coverage of their new offering. Um, what else? Mm, I thought I had another science story to share, but I can't find it. Oh, no, that's not the one I want to share. Um, apparently, we're making great leaps and bounds in um, transplants, but I'd rather not talk about that one. Um, Anything you want to talk about, Tank? <laughs> it's a little bit boring today. And I apparently have a phone call. Excuse me. Um, Tank? Yeah, I don't, I don't have much of anything, man. <laughs> Slow day. Yeah. For all those paranoid folks out there, stress may bring us to... Right, uh, pushes towards paranoia. Okay, here's my. Okay, let's see where we were. I wasn't keeping up the chat. Let's see here. Mm -mm. Actually, yes, I was keeping up with the chat for the most part. Um, I think uh, Future Tech reports out that uh, um, Windows 7 update support and how that's uh, changed and how they've made that slower. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and he points out the KB uh, uh, KB three one three three nine seven seven. Look into that. Thanks for sharing that. Futures as always, Eric. Let's see. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. So that, um, yeah, so that, 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 so specifically you're pointing out that it caused the uh, secure boot error. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Is that on a specific, uh, and those are, that's specific to ASUS motherboards, right? Is that patch workable otherwise though? I wonder. Zombie Worm has joined us, and Thermos is here as well, and I have nothing to talk about, but maybe you guys do, so please uh, keep the information rolling. I'll try to find some more information to talk about, but I'm having some tough times. Oh, did we talk about that? I think we did mention that a little while. I'll post it again, but uh, uh, <laughs> the the antivirus scan that disrupted the uh, the guy's uh, the patient's heart procedure. <laughs> Hey guys, hey zombie. Versus a few little for a live demo crypto event versus a few little pets. Uh Glenn, I suppose we could do uh do that. Do you have any pets right now that you'd like to uh to share? Do you have anything specific in mind? If you do, let us know. We'll uh we'll put together something and show everyone. I really wish Brantley were here just so I could yell at him and he could yell at me. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'd ever think I'd, I'd ever say that, but. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know. What would they do? Oh, infection found. Oh, crap. They'd probably start pumping them full of antibiotics and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, I, you know, you know, we did also discuss that that uh, improper medical care was maybe the third leading cause of death in this country. Bartex video, uh, which one are you referring to, Len? Which let us know. Um, maybe Brentley will be joining us shortly. <coughs> um, let's see. Let me see. I think he posted one in the chat earlier. Yeah. Oh, did he? I didn't. Did I miss it? Oh, yes. Here's one. Bartek test bit defender against crypto. Where is that? Oh no, I lost it. Gosh. Hmm. Good morning, Brantley. Hello, Brantley. So did we skip the show? No, we didn't skip the show. We're doing the show. I'm just not having a whole lot. To I don't have a whole lot to talk about. Um, oh, we're on the show right now. Yes, yes we are on the show right now. Weird Michael Quiet moment. <laughs> Whoa, that is weird. <laughs> well, you weren't. You, I, I didn't have you to 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 go off of. So I, I guess I he just. He actually just said he wished you were here to yell at me. I, I know. It's <laughs> I don't. You didn't have to tell him. You didn't have to tell him. <laughs> you yes, didn't yes, have to did. tell me. <laughs> Okay. You didn't. You didn't. Yes, yes, I did. Um, so Proctor is actually doing the show, but um, he he had to leave, and uh, Nick is uh, eating with his mom, who was supposed to be here two hours ago, but apparently was delayed in her travels. So did you uh, did you already uh, talk about Google Spaces? No, I didn't. Go ahead, bring us up to date, man. You're much better at the news than I am. 
So that's pretty interesting product. Google's added again with yet another messaging app. But I was thinking that it would be interesting uh, for us internally to try out because we've been looking for a way to share all these links and uh, show topics and things like that. But there's nothing really out there that's really good for it. Um, this seems like an option and I actually had some pulled up and, uh, available for us to show off here. So is this one of those, well, you know, not all of Google's, uh, ultimate, uh, ideas have come to popular fruition. Um, well, it seems like they're going back to where it's, it's very, very simple. So that's that's kind of what bad. I like about that's it. Plus. That's oh, oh, excuse me. Did I say plus? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> bad, bad pun there. I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, yeah. yeah. Uh, Wave and plus were nothing. <laughs> so. um, essentially, what it does, though, is it just gives you a, a stream timeline that you can uh, post links, pictures, or just say something and people can respond back to those items. Um, you can go back and delete them. It gives you a screenshot of what it is. So I have a, a space set up for us and I'm just going to post the links that I find in there. It's got a really nice Google Chrome extension. It also has a mobile app so you can look and watch them all at the same time. Um, so, I think it might work for what we're trying to do. We'll have to see uh, if we like it and how it goes. But uh, essentially, like, whenever we talk about a link, like I just talked about the spaces one, so now I would delete it out of there. This post will be gone forever. Yep. Uh, yeah, zo Zombie Worm, um, by the way, regarding your booting into safe mode, you, you know you can... Um you know we have a tool called Boot Safe, which will do that for you. It works in Windows 10, doesn't it? I believe so. Yeah, I believe it works in Windows 10, Zombie. In fact, if you could confirm that for us, go ahead and give that a test spin on that uh, on that box and see if that uh, if that, uh, oh. if that helps you. Windows 10 does have the F8 for booting into safe mode. You just have to enable it with uh, D72. Or I think you can enable it. With okay, him. but if it crashes and he's not able to do it, let's see. What 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 what, what would be the best solution? Uh, I think you have to edit the uh, boot thing. Yeah, boot.ini or whatever it is. And one ten. Um. Hmm, that's a good topic to research. Let's look into that. Hmm. Let's see. And this, uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but what if you couldn't boot the computer? Hmm. Uh, actually, I I'm just when I looked for this, it said you hold the shift restart combination. Uh, no, that probably there's wouldn't a, work. There's another issue. Well, it, it, it depends on what type of device you're doing. Uh, yeah. um, here, here's an article on it uh, specifically if you can't. Okay, so it looks like you'll have to do the um, go into the recovery environment, troubleshoot advanced options, startup settings, and then... Um, uh, you'll be able to um, do it from there. So, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, this is the link that I have. It's on ASUS' site of all places. Apparently, um, of course, it would be on ASUS. Uh, was that an ASUS Atom PC, possibly, that you were talking about? Atom Netbook? Um, maybe. Uh, you can also do it with... Uh The 
recovery drive if you have one of yeah. those. Yeah, recovery drive. I did see that option as well. Um, but yeah, if anybody has any other ideas to share about that. Oh, Acer, Michael. No. Oh, Acer, not Asus. Okay, sorry. Um, it is Asus.com that you posted the. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, he he's saying that he was with working with an Acer. Yeah, yeah. Similar. They both begin with A, just like um, my brother named all of his children with A's in their name. It's the same OS on both, though, so don't worry about it. <laughs> The OS doesn't change no matter what the manufacturer is. Yeah, yeah, that 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 should apply to um, anyone. So cool. All right. Well, let's. Uh, what else you got, Brantley? Well, Phoenix threw out a few links. Uh, oh, did he? I missed it. UK government targets uh, Google and Facebook and privacy piracy crackdown. Where do they have piracy? What? Facebook is a pirating <laughs> site. <laughs> what? Um, That's weird. <laughs> and Phoenix, um, so build ten five eighty seven leaked on the internet. Okay. Um. All right. Um. That's fine. Um. I wonder. Let's follow that link. See if there's anything good. Fe any good features that I'm going to look forward to in this. Um. Hmm. OS Beta Archive. Oh, yeah. I see. Is that is that a link? If it's available in the slow ring? That, that doesn't really seem like a leak. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm That's, this isn't released on any channel, though, I don't think. Well, no way. I guess this isn't I, the article I was looking at was for an older build, but ten five eighty six was released on November. Yeah, and what? what I, I just was hoping to look for what feature, you know, what I'm what I'm looking forward to with this when it comes. But it's apparently that information is available. Uh, yeah, we uh, do have a tool named Boot Safe. I'll see if we can get it here. I'll link to that. Oh yeah, I can. You gonna do that, Brantley? Or yeah, I got it. What is the is that? Why? So the build ten five eighty six was released in November. I, I'm pretty sure they've already had builds after that. How is that a sudden release? Yeah, I I got the link um, for boot safe already. Oh, perfect. That was the oh I'm sorry that's actually the um my bad I should duh that's the release notes my bad there that's that's fine and uh, it is compatible with Windows 10 according to Nick so we're good and let me see <sighs> but you know that doesn't still get around the issue necessarily of uh, of of doing it if you can't put it into Windows, but um, but it's definitely uh, it's what the tool's for, obviously. Yeah, everybody else says it's a leak as well, but it's so weird. <laughs> as as it sounds like I'll go afterwards. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, funny. Uh, so another link he posted was semantic antivirus products vulnerable to horrid overflow bug. Interesting. Um, YouTube criminals are piracy racketeers. What are you reading? Uh, the links that Phoenix has posted. Mm. Veracrypt. Veracrypt 
15 beta 6 has been released. Supports GPT and EFI now. Hmm. Um, there was another link about uh, YouTube people uh, getting arrested when they were trying to steal. Uh, uh, whatchamacallits? Um, whatchamacallits? They were trying to Anymore? take. Yeah, it's a, it's a painting, and they got arrested for uh, tormenting the public or something. I don't have the link right off right now. Oh, did you so hear about that? I'll give you the link that you can buy the Squatty Potty at a rare discount on Amazon today. <laughs> oh, you did not link to that, did you? Oh, yes, you did. $19. Huh. Tempting. Tempting. Yeah. Very tempting. It's a lot cheaper than uh, than when I originally looked at that. Um, of course, I mean, realistically, you could go to the dollar store and buy a plastic footstool for like three bucks. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the, the whole deal behind that. I'm sure Nick would debate it if he was here, but... Luckily, he's not in this case. <laughs> um, did y'all talk about the official uh, Mr. Robot preview that came out? No, no, I'm sorry, I don't keep up with Mr. Robot like you do, but yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't keep up with much anything else. <laughs> oh man, we, we need, we need, we need, um, we need more survival news. It hey. looks like it's gonna be awesome. Okay, in survival news, if you're dead, you didn't survive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it looks awesome. Other than um, an action-packed trailer, what uh, what do we have to? He's gonna get shot in the head. Uh, so I have to actually know the story to be able. And I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene of him with a bandage on his head. Uh, okay, like, well, that would have been. The the story behind it is the fact that, uh, accident. The story behind it is of uh, the uh, is basically like the Fight Club story. Like Tyler Durden doesn't exist. Same thing with Mister Robot and his father. <laughs> Not sure why he picked his father, but his father's Christian Slater. So. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. You mentioned that. Um, so Phoenix points out that Easy to Boot has released a toolkit for Grub Two menu for Easy Boot. Um, so yeah, Grub Two now. Um, hmm, cool. Awesome. Yeah, that activation assistant in D72 does fix a lot of issues. Um, sometimes Windows activation is a very very tricky beast. Yeah, but Nick yeah. had put a lot of work into that stuff. Hey, if you haven't watched season one already, that's not my fault. That's no spoiler. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So Phoenix confirms the Grub Two uh, being supported. Um, so what does that uh, Phoenix? What does that specifically open us uh, 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 up to? Uh, uh, what are you um, using that for? Go up to specifically what distros? What what? Uh... Of course, it'll take a moment for him to answer. <laughs> um, no, no, I, I'm saying if anybody hasn't watched season one, then yeah, sorry, that's not a spoiler anymore. <laughs> Tank, you haven't watched it. So, I'm guessing. No. Oh well, yeah, that was a spoiler for you. <laughs> oh well. Um, it did not decrease the value of the show at all, though. <laughs> it actually probably would make it better because, like, the whole time you're watching it, you'd be like, "Oh, he doesn't really exist. This, how is this going on? What's happening?" Here? Do you guys remember? Um, you guys remember this from uh, 1995? This is um, this is the Bill Gates Doom video. I, I actually don't remember um, seeing this at the time, um, but uh, but I'm sure hopefully many of you have <laughs> heard it got around. Um, uh, 
And um, speaking of um, Doom, people who like Doom, there's some benchmarks if anybody wants to see it. Okay, so Phoenix answers uh, about the GARP2 question. Um, Linux, Windows, custom image, USB drive, this is Rufus, Yumi. Oh, oh, not Yumi, uh, Yumi. Co, co, co. Well, here's the the interesting timing of that video. I just happened to skip to it directly. So, what 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 video is this? That for you. That Doom video you just posted. It has Bill Gates come out green screen style and start talking about it in what looks like a Windows ninety five uh, box. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, Looks interesting. Oh, um, Phoenix points out that he was on the Podnuts Computer Repair Podcast on Sunday. He's asking uh, everyone to check it out. And he posted the link for us. Thank you so very much, Phoenix. I'm sure it was wonderful. Is this the video side of the... The... Uh, the recorded one that you did, or was that a whole separate one? We'll find out. We'll find um, out. Here is an awesome video. Um, this guy uh, made a YouTube video about uh, if meat eaters acted like vegans. <laughs> It is hilarious if you're a meat eater. Like it starts off really? with this uh, this person eating a salad, and the guy's just got a steak in front of him, and mm -hmm. he's watching her eat the salad, and he's just like, oh, "I have totally lost my appetite watching you eat that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even enjoy my steak now. Jeez." <laughs> And he, he makes some other good points, like, why are you killing the planet? That's my food's food. <laughs> All kinds of good stuff on that. Speaking of videos, there's a cool educational video on how um, digital projectors work and um, how they somehow are able to make 281 trillion shades of colors. Um so Phoenix points out it was Jeff's show that he does on 4 p.m. on Sunday. He has two shows, Podnuts Computer Repair and Podnuts Daily. I was on Podnuts Daily a few weeks ago. Yeah, Jeff has multiple shows. That was shows. The, the only uh, audio one. Cool. Excellent. Thank you again for sharing. Um. Yep, we talked about that one yesterday, Phoenix. Google's going to pay $3 billion, and it's only a drop in the bucket of their $64 billion that they have just for uh, cash. So instead, you can watch a bunch of static electricity on a uh, polyfilm roll. That's pretty crazy, actually. Uh, $3.4 billion is nothing uh, for Google. Um, and a record fine, yes. Uh, but, uh, right, didn't we talk about how much cash reserves these companies have on hand? Four billion. Um, how much is it? Uh, bill, like, I think Google was at $64 billion. I don't know. You'll have to check the links from yesterday's show. We had Yeah, them. yeah, but, but, but they could... How much? Uh, in offline accounts. Yeah, they could uh, they could easily pay. I mean, you know, it is a big amount. Sure, sure, sure. I shouldn't uh, diminish it. That is huge. Um, but uh, yeah, that seems to be common in Europe. Um, they uh, love to get the money um, from the companies like this. But you know, since they're not paying the taxes, maybe some maybe some government should be getting some money from them. Uh, it's funny. Um, RTM Tech has a couple links here. I'm about to post over. 
spy stories from an internal NSA reports. That's pretty interesting. And then, uh, Oh, Kevin Spacey was awarded an email patent. Interesting. Um, um, it doesn't look I like it was so many other things of the patent system. I don't necessarily think this is uh, worthy of uh, a patent. However, uh, that seems to be all the rage today. And uh, intellectual property lawsuits, regardless of if you never do a single thing with that patent. Uh, here's a, here's some worthwhile for these people. Scary but, information about a, uh, a software error. Uh, a uh, thing almost or uh, Airbus almost didn't even get off the ground due to flight data issues. Oh, it is kind of you have to man, stupid. Is that a pay link? Wall Street. Is pay that a pay link? Wall. It's a yeah. pay wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, I, I try to avoid. Uh, posting to those things uh but if you happen to be able to first visit you know <laughs> good luck mm -hmm. um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. interesting phoenix uh yes yeah, so they're going to be looks like pushing uh the newest uh, build uh which wouldn't would you want all of your systems on windows 10 to be upgraded to that yeah yeah i'm I mean, is that a, are you presenting that as bad, or or they long overdue? <laughs> um, you can you can kind of take that both ways. Uh, I I kind of believe that it should remain up to date with Brantley. However, I question sometimes some of the changes that they push out through Windows updates. Um, you know, and not giving choice over hey, Phil and other things, but. Um. There's interesting of how they make drop candy, so lemon drops, cough drops, things of those kind of drops. That's how they used to make them. Um, it's actually a pretty interesting process, and if you're ever in, I think it was Tallahassee, Florida, you can actually go to that shop and uh, see them doing it. And Glenn is still seeing systems... Uh, going into machines on the upgrades. Yeah, I was, I mean, I thought that was already a KB, but I don't know. Maybe they didn't label it as a KB. Mm, yeah, there's sometimes Microsoft makes um, site changes to the, um, you know, uh, the requirements for the upgrades so that they're pushed out to a larger number of computers or um, sometimes they're on um right don't they don't they maybe not always roll them out uh, or in waves or things like that to ease burden on their network I don't know it's possible it has something to do with that I don't know just guessing Phoenix also points out Michael Microsoft and Michael Microsoft, Michael, Michael and Michael are under investigation I'm hopping a plane to China I'm I'm hopping a plane to China. Yes, it's a, a security investigation. Now, I don't know what to make uh, of that so much. I haven't actually read that whole article of, or, or, that you're that you're pointing to there, but um, it, it would seem to me that this is a way for China to sit down and bully these companies. You know, basically, if you want our, our billion dollar or billion strong uh, economy to uh, flow money into your uh, businesses, then you're going to have to do this, 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 and this, and this with your products and services to comply with uh, our great firewall and to uh, do all that other stuff. And probably almost all of them are going to agree to do whatever changes they want, at least within the borders of China in order to, uh, you know, again, gain their business. Um, so, I, I, you know, I don't like these, these, these talks because this is the very, like I said, and I've mentioned this previously, the very same values that they would tout in this country, um, you know, about considering users' privacy and, and other things that uh, they like to do these days uh, would be, um, they would be actively doing the exact opposite within the borders of uh, China, you know, for instance. And uh, that, 
I don't like that idea. I mean, I understand it. Sure, if you want to make money, you got to follow their rules. But uh, you know, you shouldn't be as whimsical with your uh, moral or ethical standing on things. Moral or ethical standing on things. Yeah, it shouldn't you shouldn't just be able to flip a switch and change those things uh, that readily. Um, anywho. Yeah, uh, this is pulling out of China, just like they're pulling out of the the cell phone market. They're actually, uh, it looks like they divulged or, or are in the process of having a, was it Nokia, I believe, Nokia. Uh, they're licensing that out to Foxconn. Oh, Foxconn, Foxconn. I'm sorry. Yeah, Foxconn. That's another name we've heard before, um, right? Doesn't Apple use Foxconn? That's in China, China too. Yeah, all in China. That's um, that's where they were jumping out of the buildings, I believe, a number of years ago. That's good, Phoenix. Uh, you were using Pigeon for IRC, though? I, I wouldn't imagine that would hold up well to it, but uh, HexChat is what most of us use here on the crew. So I, I found HexChat to be good. Yeah. Um, it it, it, it crash as much, unless it's on Michael's computer, but that's. I've not never really had HexChat crash. I've never had HexChat yeah, crash. You just have your entire computer crash. Yeah, the whole entire computer went down, but that, that wasn't HexChat. <laughs> Um, Hexchat was, uh, yeah, has been proven to be quite reliable and flexible. Um, I just need to learn it uh, to to use it effectively. I, I don't use IRC clients a lot, so I'm not as familiar with them sometimes. But uh, but it's it's gone an easy learning curve. Um, yeah, it's really weird that uh, that all of these big tech companies have bought uh, cell phone divisions and didn't do much of anything with it. Um, all these tech companies. I mean, it's mostly Microsoft uh, doing no, the uh, mistake. Google did the same thing. They bought Motorola and then they s sold Motorola off now. So uh, yeah, I guess the right. only person in the mobile yeah. game that hasn't done that is Apple, and that's because Apple apparently has a very lucrative deal with uh, Foxconn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I wonder, yeah, about how the politics and the that works over there exactly. Maybe. Um, you know, with this news that Microsoft's going to Foxconn as well, uh, with their division, it would appear that Foxconn owns cellular phones. Um, and if you don't uh, go through them, I don't know. Well, Maybe somebody else bought Motorola. I forget who it was now. Yeah, Phoenix and RTM both seem to agree. Uh, Foxconn makes everything. Yeah, the, the, that's the thing I worry about. Lenovo. Still, uh, yeah. Lenovo bought Motorola from Google. Lenovo. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Hopefully, they'll s stick to the high quality standards that Motorola is known for. Oh, stupid human of the week. Um, still happens. Follow your GPS right into a lake. Um in her defense, I would point out that uh, the weather was bad and there was allegedly lots of fog. So, you know, those are somewhat mitigating factors. Of it. I don't know. I've never accidentally driven into a lake because of fog before, but who knows? Uh, Phil Thex, I've never done a triple boot on any of my pies. I usually only do a single boot for it. Well, the um, point of noobs, though, isn't the point of noobs to 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 do you know multi booting like that, and uh, yeah. and noobs specifically supports uh, Raspbian, RetroPie, and OpenELEC already. So noobs doesn't support RetroPie. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, okay. Well, I would think, given RetroPie's large following, that it would be relatively trivial to add that. Um. Did Fox go by Sharp? I don't know. Um, Multi-boot pie, FilthX points out. Thank you for the link. Oh, that is cool. Wow, yeah. Uh, Retro Pi Cody uh, add-on. Yeah, it's an open elect uh, plug-in. That's cool. So that uh, basically will uh, solve the problem right there. It's not exactly quite... Well, I guess it would be a triple boot at that point. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. 
<laughs> Lenovo putting malware on your computer since 2014. Phoenix, um, I, you know, I actually have a number of Lenovo laptops. I'm not clear that there's uh, any sort of malware uh, installed on it. Um, so I'm putting malware on it, and that's why your laptop is broken. <laughs> It's not broken. It has malware already in, comes pre-installed from the factory. It's well, in your BIOS. well, I know that's the that's the that's the idea that it's in uh, the BIOS uh, somewhere. But um, I, I I done taken steps to try to investigate that, and I haven't yielded any fruit. Nothing has scanned and confirmed uh, um, that. Bill Beck says mind. Bluetooth is not functional yet in Ubuntu Mate for the Raspberry Pi 3. Um, since Raspbian just came out with that update, I'm sure it would be fairly trivial to yeah, for the Ubuntu download thing. those packages and then just install them on Ubuntu Mate. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. They updated the, the BlueStack uh, with their most recent release. So. Now, Phoenix, uh, Superfish, they, they, that's the Lenovo stopped doing that as far the last I heard, but... Yeah, that could be a downside for Motorola phones, I guess. But it's still its own company, so. Shrake is the only thing is super fish, and there's mm -hmm. a script that you can run to take it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shri, do you have a link to that script? Yeah. Let's see if we can find it. Um, what was the super fish? Cool, thanks. Um, I I found uh, we use a uh, BitTorrent sync, but we use the beta build. We don't use the 2.0 build. Here's the uh, Lenovo link to remove it. There's a removal tool for it, apparently. Um, Phoenix posted a link to bad fish removing, which I imagine is related to the super fish thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I didn't see that specific link, but um, I'm sure. Let's see. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, there's a guide for remove it. Well, while we wait on that, here's another reason that Colorado is the most awesome state in the union. Electric cars are now $5,000 cheaper in Colorado. Yeah, that's still not enough. Um, uh, with in, in conjunction with the $7,500 federal state tax incentive. Oh, well, no, that's starting to add up. That's $12,500. Yeah, well, oh, five thousand just isn't enough. <laughs> uh, Sheree posted the link to hers, and Phoenix posted another link there. Wow! So we've got Shuri what four, got or five, six removals. Geeks <laughs> link to that. So apparently, a lot of people removed that. So apparently, pretty bad. Uh. I thought this article was pretty cool um, and something I didn't think about. So we know the the sun is going to uh, turn into a red giant uh, in about yep. 8 billion years. Yep. Um, <clears throat> what's interesting about that is that... Oh, that was the news. That was the other news. I was I was thinking about a science story. I'm sorry. Oh, the, the <laughs> sun's going to... That's, that's the news. No, 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 no. Thank the, news, I, people. The sun is going to die. I, I, there was a science <laughs> story I was trying to. Michael was thinking. 
No, I was trying to find oh. a I was trying to find a science story earlier, and uh, or there was a, two of them, and I couldn't remember what the other one was, and I believe this was it. So thank you for mentioning it, Gizmodo. Yeah, it's pretty cool that it's going to move the habitable zone out to Jupiter and Saturn, yeah. and both of those have uh, ice moons, so those mm -hmm. are just going to turn to liquid water and all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we we may uh, humanity may still inhabit uh, the solar system at that point, although eight billion years of evolution and humans, uh, if we haven't killed ourselves uh, by then. Assuming humans are still around. Well, yeah, if they are still around, uh, they might have migrated. Uh, so various generations may move a, a planet or two out as as the millennia and and well more than millennia as the eons pass. But um, I, I don't know, eight billion years. You think we're gonna be around? Wow, I don't know. We can't even talk about a thousand years, you know, reasonably as a long time for humans and, and human life to exist. Um, we're in a country that hasn't even existed for 300 years. And uh, now we're talking about. Eight. Hey, what's cool, though, is that the sure. Milky Way Andromeda collision will happen in about four billion years. So, Oh, so but that's the sky is going to be far different than in the future. Um Oh, data gatekeeper. What's this? Phoenix points out. Oh, <laughs> scam. But uh, but apparently uh, the video is funny. Um, interesting. Um, Filth X wants to know if anyone else has noticed that uh, wireless key view has recently stopped receiving keys in Windows 8 and Windows 10. Yeah, I had not noticed that. Yeah, I, I had heard of this actually. Um, yeah, those uh, those things have largely become ineffective, and I believe that's the same reason why that other key. I was looking for uh, something else to pull the passwords because of I think um, this issue and Thanks. the she alternative. Uh, she points work out either. again that the activation tool in D72 worked, and two thumbs up for D72, best tool ever. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, wow. Um, didn't realize it'd be that helpful in this particular case, but wow. Yeah, it surprises me every day. Well, most days. Yeah, I, the Windows activation, I know, is something that Nick worked uh, pretty hard on, and there are still issues with that, but it, it's more Microsoft issues. But uh, that tool that he did, did do really really good so and he spent a lot of time on it yes and until d7x filth x is correct what's phoenix what's this there's who's saying aes is weak and their cipher is better who's saying it's that related to that oh the data gap oh yeah yeah okay um uh, yeah i don't i don't want to promote that if it's not real um, yeah, until D7X, uh, Filth points out. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and I just X. pointed out that Filth X pointed out. Oh, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I have selective hearing, apparently. <laughs> yes, you uh, <laughs> um, It's coming along pretty well, though, so patience will get you everywhere with that. Um, I thought this was a pretty funny thing. Uh, so someone was posting on their congressional campaign page uh, screenshots of their desktop and they forgot to close their porn tabs before they took entire... Who, which company? Which company? <laughs> it's not a company. It's a congressional uh, runner. Mike Webb running for U.S. Congress uh -huh. in Virginia's 8th District. Ciao, Glenn. Um, so we'll see, uh, he's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, getting early morning Wednesday there. So, um, we'll see you on Friday. Awesome. And, uh, let's see that Gawker link. Is that, that, that's the one you were talking about. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. I mean, how 
Gawker made several yep. updates to this uh, <laughs> this post. <laughs> um, what freaking what, what browser is he using? What browser is he using? Uh, it looks like Chrome. Later, Glenn. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I got the better picture. Yeah. I guess it is it Chrome. Yeah, I guess it is Chrome. Um, that's a that's a pretty presumptuous thing to say, uh, since they've been doing security so well. YubiKey, just because they went closed source doesn't mean that they added a backdoor. They uh, could just have proprietary information that they don't want to leak out. Gosh, my Google Chrome is terrible. Hmm. Mm. I don't like the implication, but I'm not sure that I... Is this Constantine? This Constantine guy is a trustworthy individual here. Um, he does have a replacement for it, though, so we'll have to look into that one. But the Neos are okay, and that's what I have. And that's what we all have. So the Neo is pretty awesome, actually. Mm -hmm. It's really awesome. It's just the YubiKey 4. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's definitely mitigating uh, issue with that. PhilthX points out that there's less than 100 days to go for Windows 10 upgrades. Oh God, I'm I'm only halfway through my list of product keys. <sighs> I you buy so many copies of Windows, Michael. Because I I was betting on this, <laughs> basically. If, so you, you paid a whole bunch for product. The opportunity that for uh, yeah, because I can't, you know, that that free upgrade uh, it was never a you know, an offering before. So my investment would have been a one-time investment for the life of one operating system. And that was windows, um, you know, seven at the time. And, uh, I, I, I think that investment has been incredibly lucrative considering, um, sitting here at 2016 and, um, yeah. And I've got uh, licensing for all, at least my machines for, for that. So, it's funny because all of my machines have licensed copies of Windows 10 and I didn't have to buy anything. Well, you purchased the machines. I, I didn't, uh, uh, with licenses, I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't purchase licenses with my machines. Um, so uh, this is an interesting version of the game Clue, uh, Game of Thrones style. So everyone kills everyone everywhere. <laughs> oh, y'all must not be Game of Thrones fans. I don't personally watch it, but I read the books. And everyone kills everyone in those too, don't they? Yes, yes, they do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. Did I... A game of Clue based on that. <laughs> I don't think I um, actually posted the link. As long as they uh, can manage to get Tim Curry in there somehow. I'm cool. Oh, Tim Curry. <laughs> I didn't manage to post the link to this yesterday, but I believe I did speak about it. Um, but that's the um, link to the story I was talking about with. Uh, um, Warren Buffett uh, investments in Apple. Yeah, trying to buy up a lot of Apple stock. Yeah, a billion dollars worth of Apple stock. I didn't. Uh, I didn't see the actual valuation of it, but it's interesting that the one billion purchase is now only worth eight hundred eighty-eight million. So it's already lost uh, a little bit of money. But um, that's not how these things work. These are longer-term investments usually. 
So I I don't have any good links to it right offhand. I think I had already closed my browsers out. Um, but I was looking into something interesting called X forwarding. So with uh, the raspberries and things like that, especially, um, you can use X forwarding to uh, forward applications over SSH to your uh, systems. So if you're running Windows, you can use something called Xming server. And let's see if I can get a link to that. Um, yeah, so you can uh, set this up. And in PuTTY, which actually this one comes with a version of PuTTY for you, so that's actually all you need to install to get set up and running with SSH and uh, X forwarding. But uh, basically there's an option in PuTTY that you can enable uh, X forwarding, and then in your SSH session, you just start a graphical interface app like you regularly would, and it pops up as a window inside of your uh, Windows system. Um, pretty dang cool, actually. If you're on a Linux system already, you don't have to enable anything other than when you SSH in, you do a uh, dash X and then uh, the location, and it will automatically enable that, and it will pop up the GUI interface on your local Linux system. But for Windows, you would need a server, a host server running on your system to be able to redraw the uh, X org stuff. But uh, it's really, really interesting stuff, I thought, um, and pretty cool setup. Let's see if I can get a, a good link that I had to follow. Um, Yeah, this one pretty much goes through it. Um, no, that's an older version. I don't want to do that one. Those are all older versions. Um, no, I don't really have any new links, but I'll post the ones that are for older versions that have lots of screenshots and pictures. So this pretty much tells you how to go about it. So you can check that out uh, to see how it's done. Um, that Xming has been updated a lot more, so you don't really have to deal with all those options. Um, you just go through it. Um, but it was, uh, it was actually super, super simple, and it is really cool. The, the thing I found, though, is that with this version, you don't have to do the X-Blade display the X display location in PuTTY, just leave that blank and then it will connect and work. So it's working on my Windows 10 system right now. So I would assume it's been updated for that. <coughs> uh, I did it on my Windows 10 system and I did it for my USB armory which doesn't have any display hookups. It only goes into a USB port of the system. So it works really well. And it was an interesting setup. Um, here's a cool bike alarm. It'll set off an explosion. 
who doesn't like explosives um yeah that um there's a kickstarter campaign i believe running for that or some indie funding something or another going for that um i would question its authenticity oh of, i question um, the authenticity of any funding thing yeah um, i'm not I, a venture capitalist i don't fund startups yeah 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 there you go so so you know i encourage a little bit of caution with everyone if if that was your i didn't say you had to get it i just said it's an interesting idea uh, yeah it could be a great idea i just i there, there's probably some liability issues and concerns I, I believe this won't be effective in coming to the actual marketplace but but no phoenix i didn't set it up in a vm i just did it on my host computer so it worked really well and I uh, didn't see any issues with it um, Scotland's gonna have the world's biggest floating offshore wind farm that's pretty cool it's good I'm working out a few kinks here and uh, we should have a new build of it soon here. Um, I've had to add a few things and uh, fix a few things since then. So the list of fixes has been long. So I'm glad we did a beta on it. Mm -hmm. um, and on that, we'll need to get back to work here since we're well past our hour. So yeah, the last link yeah. to show it off here is uh, Lifehacker has an article about a app that lets you uh, share the battery level of your phone with all of your friends. So you can remind them to charge their phone or prep and be ready for them to charge their phone if you have a friend that always has their battery being drained this could easily assist you in making your life easier by not having to listen to their life being difficult. Phoenix, there were a lot of issues with V8 that uh, may have caused it to act up. So I have fixed a lot of stuff since then. So when I have the new build out, we'll uh, test it out and do a demo and talk about it. So uh, you'll be aware of when it comes out. But all right, I think that uh, is past our hour here. So let's go ahead and wrap her up today, unless anybody had anything else real quick they wanted to mention. Going once, mm -hmm. going I'm twice. Good. I'm good. All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. And hope you all have a great rest of your week and hope it started out well. And we will see you tomorrow. Uh, Proctor has to take us out, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, we need to text him. Um. Um, are you seriously still on the air? Yeah, we just finished, uh, wrapped it up. But apparently we have to wait for Proctor now, too. Uh, he gave you a team viewer to his uh, system. Oh, oh. So I'll join it. So you can. Mom's just left. I got it here, Michael. My crime doesn't kill. Mm. Okay. Thank you for joining Futures Tech. Yeah, thanks. Damn it, they're now. Phoenix says, be sure to watch at 4 p.m. All right. Ah, ha, ha. I have control of Proctor's computer. <laughs>